Welcome to the merits stage. You are in a real merit stage and therefore you are also part of it. You are part of a Merz Gesamtkunstwerk. Here in Galerie Gmoschinska, which is right next to the place where the Dadaists had their Galerie Dada in 1917, Merz is happening right now and right here. Merz is happening thanks to the overwhelming Merz bow that Sarah Hadid and her studio and Mr. Schumacher have developed for this exhibition, which is in fact not an exhibition anymore. It is an artwork, so you are in an artwork. A Merzbau that welcomes human beings in it and makes them feel comfortable. Merz is happening thanks to the incredible efforts and work that the whole gallery Gmoschinska has undertaken within the last months and weeks by collecting not just these fantastic works by Kurt Schwitters out of, their, out of his whole lifetime, but also presenting documents and even works of friends. With this, Metz expands beyond this actual space we are in here. Metz is happening in a dialogue between Zaha Hadid's architecture, Zaha Hadid's Metz style, and Kurt Schwitter's work. The two of them, as though they knew each other for ages, managed to make us, as humble visitors of this sublime space, experience Metz totally in the logic of Kurt Schwitter's artistic logic. We don't understand with reason, but we are here and we feel it with our whole body. Metz is happening because the gallery itself, not just the space, has been transformed. It is, it is now not a gallery anymore, but the fourth or maybe the fifth uh, bank on Paradeplatz, the Commerzbank. <laughs> Metz is happening because here you can experience what Kurt Schwitters, together with some Dadaists said, I quote, Art is a spiritual function of man, which aims at freeing him from his life's chaos, brackets, tragedy. And because we already experienced plenty of Dada this year, and because Dada is the style of our time, as Kurt Schwitters said, that doesn't have any time. So it is absolutely necessary that Mads is happening here, today. Mads will give us attitude and style, and also style back to our time. Therefore, I would like to thank and also gratulate Galerie Gmoschinska and Saar Hadid Architects for making Mads happening here and for freeing us from Dada. <laughs> colliding and forceful intersection of the new and old and that's where Zaha grew up into this world and I think that's way um, when she looked of course at the work of, of the um, Russian avant-garde which was much, much more richer than what happened Bauhaus post but we did also look at the work of Schwitters or Collage which also in fact informed the work of Liebeskind so these, some of these much more intensely constructed compositions are actually abstractions of these kind of collage conditions. And I think that's very important. And also Zaha looked at the Surrealists, and there was a whole new reinvention of, and expansion of the repertoires of, of, of the field and of the discipline. Architecture in her mind should not be dissected into cells and subcells, rigid boundaries, and only upright series of rhythms but should be as kind of flowy and fluid, full of gradients and soft transitions, uh, like a landscape in which uh, a forest bleeds out into, into, into the bushes, into the mountains. So that kind of gradient interpenetration and continuous fluid, changeful 
a modulation of an environment is something we're looking for. And we feel that this is speaking to the way contemporary society operates, where things are richly differentiated, we're not having only a few stereotypes to accommodate, where we have domains bleed into each other, interpenetrate, there's a strong mixity, yet a sense of orderliness, like a multi-species ecology living in, embedded in a, in a landscape which has laws of formation. The world, the way modernism delivered a total makeover of the world in the, in the image of Mondrian, I'm offering a total makeover of the world in terms of urbanism, architecture, and interior design in an expanded sense of Schwitter's vision. Thank you, thank you.